Um, and we can go ahead and open the open the room. Okay, Marty, you ready before I let everyone? I just want to oh. make sure you're ready before I let everyone in. <laughs> That's I probably figured you were good, but you walked off camera, so I didn't. I wanted to make sure. <laughs> it's five o'clock here. I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead. You. We. It's five o'clock. <laughs> she's drinking too. She's drinking a white claw, so you guys can be best friends. Marty's a Marty's a whiskey bourbon gal, so Ooh, I, um, I know I, this is the only thing I had. So. <laughs> uh, Otherwise, I do like I do like a good whiskey bourbon. Out here. Ooh. Oh, great. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, do this. Let's do that. Oh, my goodness. I love the costumes. Wow. Wait, is that the beginning? <laughs> you guys. Why do you do that, though? Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Who's out there? Who's out there? <laughs> uh, <gasps> Costumes. Ooh, oh, my gosh. Good. I need a costume. How cute are y'all? Hey, cute, 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 cute. Awesome. We'll give it a few minutes to let everybody, uh, all of our latecomers, come in and join in. Hope you're no problem. Our dance class was running a little bit late, so we might have a few uh, so late fun. joiners. Wait a minute, you had a dance class too? Guys, we I just did. came back from a dance class to join. Tell us about it. How, How was it? Fun. It was <laughs> fantastic. It had a blast. <laughs> I want to go to the dance class. Crap, I would have loved that. <laughs> Next Halloween. Instead, I'm sitting here eating candy and cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad deal either, though. <laughs> Well, it kind of is when you're about 30 pounds overweight already. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. <laughs> it's, it's the COVID weight. It's okay. I feel like everybody's embracing it these days. Yeah. I'm not embracing it, but I just don't, yeah, not, <laughs> not thinking with it. about it. <laughs> Xing that, Xing that out of my mind. Not yeah. thinking about it. I have to get another mixing bowl while I'm staying here. Oh, we see lots of kids at this one. Woo! Hi, guys. You want to ask them how do we make it last week? You want to know how to make it less sweet? Make yeah. what less sweet? Because uh, the kids cannot really have it too much to eat. Uh, we're only going to use water in the cupcake mix. It's I'm gonna. It's a quick. We're doing a quick mix so we can get them in the oven very fast, so we have time to chill them before we decorate. And as far as the icing goes, it's mostly sugar, so oh. that might be a little bit of a problem. But <laughs> we could. We'll help you figure out something. How about that? <laughs> Thank you. My daddy would not let me have sugar ever. What? Only what got baked in my mom's kitchen. No candy, no sodas, no nothing. Hey, girls. Hey, gorgeous girls. <laughs> hey, what are y'all's names? I'm Marty. Hey. I see somebody with polka dot and somebody else with purple. I see another purple. Hey. Where where are you? Where where do you live? In San Bruno. In San Bruno. Where's that? <laughs> you want me to tell you where I am? <laughs> I have I live on a farm way down in Alabama. It's all the way to the end of the United States. 
Do you I'm, want to talk to her, Maya? I'm very close to the Gulf of Mexico, if you know where that is. So, we, we live close to San Francisco. Oh, wonderful. San Francisco is such a beautiful city. Wait a minute. Yeah, don't, don't go to the chat. Hey, <laughs> my God. Just because they see you doesn't mean that they, you're, you've got to like, okay. Don't hide. It's okay. Is everybody ready to make cupcakes? Woo! I think so. Right. You want to get Vanessa, started, I think we're, Yeah, I, I think we're pretty good to go. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, um, Gabby, Let's... if you just want to open it up for the whole team here, please go ahead. I'm sure. So we are super excited to welcome the Zenga team again. I know I see some familiar faces from the pretzel making earlier. Uh, we're going to be having the amazing Chef Marty tonight. Chef Marty is so talented. You guys are going to be in for a real treat literally tonight with her. Um, <laughs> she has been on Food Network Star. She has her own podcast called Homemade. Um, where it features Patty LaBelle, Guy Fieri. Um, she just has a wealth of knowledge and I love to refer to her as our pastry queen because she's just absolutely fantastic in the kitchen. And I feel like I learn something every time I see her. So I hope you guys have an awesome time tonight. You're gonna have so much fun and have fun. Yeah, y'all, let's have fun. And, okay, so who thinks I talk funny? I do. I'm from Alabama, way down south um down by the gulf of mexico and i live on a farm 20 acres like a little mini farm we grow blueberries here we also grow butternut squash and in the summertime we just grow everything tomatoes and cucumbers and all the herbs and things like that small but we we go we grow a lot here for the small property that we have but what I really love is baking, and I'm so tickled y'all asked me to help y'all learn how to make cupcakes. Now, we need to get these cupcakes in the oven super quick because we need time for them to cool before we ice them or the icing is going to slide off. So I want you to know that you got a little recipe card, but you can throw it away. We're not using that today. Today, we're going to do something totally different so we can go super fast. And you can use this card like a later time if you want to make these cupcakes again. But for today, follow along with me very carefully, okay? Now, because we're going to use our mixer for the icing, you don't have to use your mixer for the cupcakes. The cupcakes, we can just use a bowl if you want to. I already have my um, cupcake mix in my mixer because I have a second bowl. But if you want to, just... Just get a glass bowl and you're going to put your cupcake mix right in there. I know you can't see that, can you? Um, before we get going, I want to show you some cupcakes I did earlier. Look at all these fun things. Can y'all see? That's like the trick-or-treat cupcake with all the candy just stuck on it. This one is a ghost. Now, I know you don't have these little ghosts, but you can get them anywhere. And you can sort of decorate today and then you can stick your ghosts in. This one is a tombstone and it just uses an Oreo for the tombstone. And then, and, and you can even do this one instead of a tombstone, you can just put those bug eyes so it looks like something's coming up out of the ground. And then this one's like a black cat. So we're gonna do a couple of different things today. I've got some cupcakes already baked because I feel like it's just easier to go that way. And I, I'm gonna move these out and we're gonna get started so we can get our cupcakes in the oven quick, quick. All right, open up your cupcakes, your cupcake mix, open up the cupcake mix, and put it in your bowl. Put it in a bowl like this, any bowl. Doesn't have to be the mixer because we're gonna do it super fast. We sent you a little whisk, so just put your mix, dump your mix, I've already put mine in here. So dump your mix in here, okay? And the only thing you're gonna need to add to this mix is some water because we've put everything else in here for you already so we can go fast. Next time you make it, you can use the recipe, but for today, we're going to do it this way, okay? So has everybody got that? Go ahead and get one cup of water, but you're going to use take two tablespoons out. So it's 
a cup, less two tablespoons. Almost a cup, not quite. It's important it's not a whole cup because it won't come together properly. So a cup less, two tablespoons. Get your little tablespoony things, take your water and get rid of two tablespoons. All right, so put it in your, put it in your bowl and then let's use our whisk and let's just whisk that. Now I've already got mine in the mixer because I needed to have some hands free. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn mine on. Now, I need to add my water to that. So give me just a second. All right, one cup less, two tablespoons, y'all. How's everybody so far? Fantastic. Okay, so you're just gonna mix it in until it's incorporated nicely. Then for about one minute, you're gonna kind of whisk it at a pretty good pace. You're gonna see right now, I'm gonna turn my mixer on medium for a minute. So let's do this for a minute. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story while you're beating those up. So I've got some neighbors that live down the road. You know, we live out, so they're not really neighbors. There's some, but there's some kids that um, their grandparents live down the road and they come to my house every day. Like, are you, are you cooking today? What do we get? So every day they're up here used to getting pie, cake, cookies, cupcakes. So I hear them out there right now, outside on my front porch, and they're like, Marty, Marty, what are you making? Oh. So if you hear kids screaming in the background, that's just the neighbors. They're not my children. I didn't lock my kids outside. All right, we got about 30 more seconds to go. I don't have any kids, by the way. I wouldn't lock them outside anyway, but I don't have any children. All right, about 30 more seconds. Okay, y'all doing good? Y'all let me know, somebody. Tell me how it's going. All right, so what we want is a batter that's smooth and looks about the consistency of thick paint. You know how sometimes you get paint that's super thick? What we don't want is like super um, batter that is, we don't want batter that is super um, thin and we don't want batter that's super thick. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these in the oven. Let's prepare our cookie pan. Did y'all get, I mean our cupcake pan. Did y'all get a little cupcake pan? I think you did. I've gone ahead and done another one because I had a, because I knew this was gonna make more batter than just six. So once you get it good and beaten, um, and hey, you know what? We have this little bit of vanilla. Honestly, you might put just a dribble, uh, just a teensy bit, because you need some for the icing. But let's just put a teensy bit in there and let's pop up the flavor of these cupcakes just a little bit. And um, I would say like just a, not even a half a quarter of a teaspoon, just a drop. And I hear, see, somebody's got a question. Okay, I got, I got cut off our bit. Okay, somebody read me that. It Can says, somebody... I got cut off our bit. So far, it's just water and mix, right? That it, but I would, let's do a little drop of the vanilla in the mix, because it's going to make those cupcakes taste and better. Marty, maybe just want to tell her about the two tablespoons less than a cup so she doesn't put too much water in. Right, so your water is one cup of water less two tablespoons. Be sure and take out two tablespoons or it's gonna to be too runny, okay? Let's take out two tablespoons. Now, do y'all have an ice cream scoop? These are the best thing for cookie dough and for cupcakes, because you can measure. And what we want to do is fill our, cup, our cupcake Almost to the top, but not quite. It's two thirds full. So 
two thirds full. So one third, two thirds, and leave this much at the top so it can rise up. Now, when you're decorating cupcakes, sometimes I like a flat cupcake. It sort of depends on what I'm doing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Sometimes I want a little rise on my cupcake, and sometimes I want a flatter cupcake. So you can see like both of these have a bit of a rise. I thought the chocolate ones may show up better, but now that I'm looking at it, I think these show up better. I made chocolate just in case the kids, you know. All right, so, but if you want them to be flat because you want to put a lot of stuff on the top, like I have on some of these, then sometimes the flat is okay. Really to me, cupcake is just a vehicle for icing. I like the cake and everything, but the icing is more important to me. I don't know about y'all. All right, so we're gonna fill up these two thirds full. And like I said, for me, I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a uh, ice cream scoop or what some people might call a cookie scoop. But, um, and so can you see my, I need to back up a little bit, don't I? Okay, so I'm going to make these approximately, um, like I'm gonna make, I like mine to be neat. So we're only gonna, you can make six or you can make more than six. It won't matter. They bake about the same. So if you look at what I'm doing, like I try to clean mine up a little bit because I hate dripping it all over the place. So I just take my scoop and I put it into the pan. Now, if you do not have a horrible mix there, let me know right now. Is your mix sort of like this one and horrible or is it thicker? Can y'all let me know? Everybody got a little bit of a horrible consistency? Like I said, it's sort of like thick paint. And we're gonna go two thirds full. Looks like everybody has the same consistency that you have. So I think we're in good shape. Okay, everybody, are you sure? Like it's not plunking out like a, Everybody that's holding their spoons up, it looks like paint's like coming off of it almost. Okay, perfect. That's what we want. Okay, if you're going to make more, you can go ahead and do it. But if you're not, your oven should be, I should have told you this already, but your oven needs to be at 350. If you haven't preheated your oven already, go ahead and turn it on now. Don't put your cupcakes in yet. Let's give it a second. 350 doesn't take long to heat up. So put your oven, the rack in the middle and put your oven on 350. And if you're like me and you're making a few more, then go ahead and do those. All right, anybody got any questions? No questions? You can see like this one, it's not quite a whole cookie scoop. And you know what else I use sometimes if I don't, if I'm at a place where I don't have access to a cookie scoop, I use my measuring cups, like these guys right here. I just use these and I pour, pour, pour like that. Or you can just put all your batter in a mixing cup that has a lip on it and then you can just pour it. So do whatever works for you in your house and your kitchen and with whatever equipment you've got. Everybody feeling pretty good about it so far? All right, we're gonna get these in the oven. I'm making a mess, Marty. I bet y'all are too. Now, one thing, I had Duff Goldman on my homemade podcast recently. Y'all know who Duff is, Ace of Cakes? Y'all know who Duff is? He's on yes. Good Network. He does the Kids Baking Championships. He's awesome. And one thing he told me that is vitally important is that when you do any kind of cake or cookie batter, that you scrape down the sides really well. So make sure as we're going and we're filling, you're keeping scraping those sides down, okay? Let's make sure. Make sure that all that, whatever's on the bottom, keeps getting mixed in, mixed in. Now we just tried to do this for you today to make this go faster and easier rather than adding all those ingredients at one time. But now you've got the recipe, you can make it later if you want to. All right, I'm ready to go in the oven. Is anybody else ready to go in? 
and try to make them as even as you can so they bake evenly. I don't know if you can see mine, mine are all pretty even. I might have one or two that are not. Uh, maybe that one needs a little bit more. If you have some that maybe need a little bit more, that's okay. Just come back and add just a tinch more. You can. It's so easy just to eyeball it and then come back and add just a little bit more if you need to. All right, mine are going in the oven. 350 and set your timer for 18 minutes. If you haven't calibrated your oven, go ahead and set it for, I think on the low end, let's go 15 minutes and then we'll check it. So go 15 minutes for right now and then we'll look at it. All right, everybody, go in the oven and set your timer. Y'all got it? All right. I'm excited about these cupcakes. All right, so get rid of your bowl if you used your mixer. You're going to need it, so you got to wash up. Hurry on, and because we're going to need the mixer for the icing. I want to go ahead and get started on that. Now, you're going to need your paddle attachment for your mixer. And if you're using a hand mixer, that's okay too, hand mixer. But you're going to need your paddle attachment. I'm just going to wipe mine down. I only have one, so I'm going to wipe mine down really good. Make sure I don't have any oil or anything like that on it. All right. Now, we're going to get... Go ahead and get another bowl or your mixer bowl, whatever you've got. Now we're going to follow this recipe a little bit more closely than we did on the last one. This, there's no real shortcut for this. So if you've got your butter, you're going to need one stick. Um, I'm sorry, you're going to need two sticks of butter. Two, not one, two. Um, or I'm only going to make a half a recipe because... I've already made one over here. I've already got one made up that I made earlier. So now I'm just gonna make half. So y'all follow the recipe or you can do like me and you can just make half. If you don't make a whole batch, you can just make half. And then you go back and make another half another time. So I'm gonna use one stick of butter and two cups of the mix. And that's just powdered sugar. So somebody asked me a minute ago, like, is there any way to lessen the sugar not for the icing, really. I mean, I not you just make less. I, the proportions, I wouldn't change. It's easy to half something. It's not so easy to quarter it or third it or anything. So if you want to, you can. Like I said, you can use just. Excuse me. Do you yes. Want a whole stick of butter. Wow. A whole one whole stick of butter. That's right. Now it needs to be room temperature. Yes. If it's not then you're going to have a problem. So tell me if you don't have room temperature butter and let me tell you what to do. If we're doing the full um, recipe, do we, we yeah, use the whole bag? It's one cup and each one of these are half a cup. So you need two sticks. No, yeah, but the powdered sugar, do we use the whole bag if we're doing oh, the whole? We're gonna measure out four cups. So if you're gonna use that, if you're gonna make the whole thing, let's measure it out. Make sure we've got four cups. Marty, we have a couple of people that commented they don't have room temperature butter. Can you give them a trick? Yeah, so put your um, butter into um, um, uh, any kind of heat proof vessel like a, like one of these things, like a, a mason jar or um, anything that's heat proof um, and put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds on defrost and then turn it like if, the, if you have it standing up then you're going to want to turn it the other way because it the container will make the heat stronger on that side so after 10 seconds take it out turn it if you're putting it on a plate then just roll it over to the other side then put it back in for about another five seconds and let's see if that does the trick, but it needs to be on defrost, not on full power, defrost, okay? We don't want it to be running, but if it is, it is. Just at this point, we just make it the best we can. But let's do this. Let's don't add it all at one time. Let's put one stick in and let's add a bit of the um, confectioner sugar and then we'll add the other stick. 
So let's be careful and don't add it all at one time, just because we want to make sure we have the right consistency and you may not have powdered sugar at your house. All right. So I'm going to measure this out, make sure we've got four cups. So I'm going to just double check it. This is four cups right here. And so I'm just going to check as we go, make sure this is four cups. I'm only going to use two, but I want to make sure you guys got four. And you don't pack it down. It's just light, just lightly in the cup, in the measuring cup. Okay, so yeah, don't pack it like brown sugar. One, two, three, four, three. <laughs> try to get to three. Okay, so yeah, so it's gonna measure out for um, exactly four cups. So let's go ahead and if you're gonna make the whole recipe, then I would just add half of it now, and then you can come back and add the other half once we sort of see with the other stick of butter. Let's just sort of see what we got here. Yeah, so we got maybe just a little bit more than four cups. Mine, my bag had a little bit more than four cups. That's okay. Hold that back, okay? You may or may not need it. So I put in my um, two cups with one stick, or it's either two sticks and four cups. And let's go ahead and put it on our mixer and tighten that down really well. I'm gonna turn mine this way so you can see it a little bit better. We are gonna use a paddle attachment and make sure that's locked on really well. Like, it don't, don't, yeah, lock it in. You know how to twist and lock, make sure, make sure that you do that because it's gonna fly everywhere if we don't. Which is kind of fun, but you don't want to clean it up. All right, is everybody ready? Is everybody caught up? We got butter in the mixer, mixing bowl and got our... Everybody said your tip worked great, so with the butter. Perfect, okay, good. We didn't want it too, too uh, liquidy, we just, but if it is, it is, and we'll make it work. There's a consistency thing here when you're piping, which is what we're gonna to do today. We're going for a specific consistency and that's why I don't say just add it all at once because it matters y'all. If y'all are in a humid climate like I am, you maybe need a little bit more. If you're in a non-humid environment, you might need a little bit less. Baking is a bit finicky like that. So we're gonna start with this and then we we'll see what we need. So like I said, I'm doing the half recipe with one stick and two cups of confectioner sugar. Now, this might jump out of the bowl a little bit, so let's be super cautious when we turn it on and go on the lowest temperature. Otherwise, we're gonna be wearing it. Lowest temperature. Then take a look at it. It's gonna take just a second. Now, we're all gonna to wanna to scrape down those sides, okay? So get yourself a spatula of some sort and we're going to, in a minute, not yet, let it go for a second. We're going to scrape down the sides. Now I know you're going to say, oh, it's not coming together. It will. It's just going to take it a minute. Um, Have we added the vanilla yet? Sorry. No, I haven't added it yet. Just uh, butter and powdered sugar? Right. Then we're just gonna kind of let that go for a second because I'm trying to let it, because if you turn it on high too quick, that powdered sugar is gonna go everywhere. So how's it doing on y'all? Are y'all getting, is it coming together? For those of you making a full batch, go ahead and add your other stick of butter in and then reserve this and just start adding a little bit at a time. Your other two, your other two cups. Now I'm gonna turn mine up a little bit because it's starting to come together. Now, yes, one of the it's best me. things you can do, let's go ahead and scrape your sides down right now. Make sure that Excuse butter. Excuse me? Yes, ma'am. Um, how much powdered chick sugar, sugar do we put in our in our, our mixer? 
Are you making a half a batch or a whole batch? Full batch. Then you need two sticks of butter. They're a half a cup each. It's one cup total. And it needs to be softened, room temperature, I mean, before you put it in there. Okay, I'm going to turn my mixer back on. Thank you. What's that? Thank you. Oh, Thank you're so you. welcome. All right, I'm going to turn mine up a little bit, y'all. Okay, so I want to show you without anything. See, mine's come together. Can y'all see it? See, I'm going to turn it on high and it came together super quick. Now, I want mine to pipe nicely. I don't want it to be too runny. So I'm, that's why I'm being a little bit careful with the additions. So I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla. But I'm not going to add the milk yet because I want to see what happens. And I've saved myself a little bit of the cream, uh, the um, confectioner sugar right here. So I may need to add it if it gets a little bit too runny. So let's go ahead and add our vanilla, this little guy right here. You can go ahead and put this back on low and then add your vanilla. And measure that in. It's supposed to be two to three teaspoons. You can put it all in like I did because I love vanilla or you can measure it in a little at a time. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this back up to medium. So let's let that go for just about 10 more seconds. Now let's scrape down again. So let's turn it off, take our spatula, and let's get it off that, off the paddle too. And let's Ooh, that looks yummy. How's y'all doing? See, here's mine. And now this is going to be too thick to pipe. Look, too thick to pipe. So we're going to need to loosen that up just a little bit. Scrape everything back down into the bowl. And let's give it, let's give it a minute. Uh, I'd say like, let's give it 30 seconds and we're going to add some milk because otherwise we might not be able to pipe it. With it on low, now only you can know how much you need, because I wish I was there with you to help you. Chef Marty, sorry to interrupt you. Somebody just asked that um, the um, icing is super powdery. They're asking if they should add more butter. No, no, mine was super powdery for, I let it go for a couple minutes and it was super powdery. I turn it on medium and it comes together in no time. So don't, unless you didn't measure correctly, no, don't, don't add, don't be tempted. Go ahead and turn it to medium and watch it how quick it'll come together. Let's see what happens. I'll wait. Did it work? All right, I'm gonna turn mine back on. I just added my meal, added, I added a tablespoon and a half. Like you can't take it out, but you can always add more powdered sugar. So let's go ahead and see what happens here. And um, start it on low and then turn it up to medium. Ooh, that's looking perfect. I'll show you the difference here in just a second. Okay, that's a lot. It's still a little bit thick, but it's less than it was before. Scrape down again. And if you need, if it's too thin, you can add some more powdered sugar. If it's too thick, I think mine's about right. But I'm going to add that other half a teaspoon, a tablespoon of milk. When you're baking, sometimes it's best to kind of go in stages. So I'm going to add that other half. I only did one and a half, so I'm going to add the other half.
And now I'm going to turn it up for just a second. Because I want, I want to really beat it good for about 15 seconds. All right. Sometimes you just got to eyeball it. Now this is just the right consistency. This is going to do really well. If yours is too thick, if you think it's too thick, I'm going to show you what mine looks like here. Hang on just a second. All right, who gets the beater at your house? When I was a kid, that was always such a big thing with my mom. Like, who got the beater? All right, so let's scrape off everything off the paddle. Now, my, my um, timer's going off on my cupcakes. Yeah. Okay, so do you no, have I'm a going. toothpick? Do y'all have a toothpick? We can test them to make sure. Put the toothpick in the tallest one and bring it out. If there's any cake batter on it, put it back in for a few more minutes. If they're not, if it comes out clean, it's ready to go. I'm gonna check mine, you check yours. Be right back. Excuse me, when do we add the butter and no, the vanilla? You can go ahead and add it right now. That'd do we fine. add the whole cup in or just some? Um, that's up to you. I put the I put most. Of, I mean, I had put a little, little bit in my cupcakes, then I put the rest in because I like a lot of vanilla. Now look at this. See, it's not clean. Mine came out like real cakey. So I put mine back in for five more minutes. And cupcake cakes are not predictable because you might feel them a little more full or a little less full. Excuse me. Can be different do we, sizes. And do we also add milk? Do we add milk? Wait to see how it comes together. And if you think you need it because it's too thick, yes. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and turn it on. And if it's not super, if it's too thick, then like mine was, then you can add the milk. If it's not, then you don't need the milk. The milk is just sort of, and if you're, don't want to use milk, you could always just use water or something else. It doesn't have to be milk in this instance. I probably should have told you people that earlier before we put the milk in, because I know a lot of people don't do dairy. But if you're doing sugar, I don't know. Hey, sis, before you get rid of your paddle, check your consistency. You want it thick. You don't want it runny. If, you've, if it's runny, Let's go ahead and add some more powdered sugar to it. This is a very forgiving buttercream. So if it is indeed runny, then add yourself. I'm so good. I'll eat the whole bowl. Um, if it's runny, then you can go ahead and add some more powdered sugar until you get it to the consistency that you want. Now, while we're waiting for the cupcakes to come out of the oven, we're gonna have to put them in the freezer for a little bit, y'all. We're going to go ahead and put our icing in a piping bag. Now, I'm going to move all of this over here and get a little bit closer to you. Yay. Can you see my hands? You can see my hands. Okay. I'm going to bring yeah, it We can see you. Okay. I'm going to come bring everything a little bit closer, though, so you can see it. How's everybody's consistency on their um, icing? How is it? Good? Good, good. Look at mine. All right, so you can see it's got some give to it. It is not super, super tight. That's what I want. If you look at mine and you see, see, if I put it on the spatula earlier, it, it's it was thicker than this. This won't fall off though. You can see how it is. But if I shake it, it will. That's not a great scientific method, I know. But I don't want it running because it will you'll have a hot, it's going to be tough enough because the cupcake's going to be a little bit warm. So is everybody ready to start trying to fill their piping bag? Now, we got lots of colors. You can make other colors if you want to. We're gonna start with white. 
and then we're gonna kind of go from there. Um, I've already done, I have all kinds of piping bags at my house. So I've already done one with a big fat tip, which I love this thing. I took out, so this is a coupler. This black thing is a coupler. If you're using a piping bag, or even if you're using a Ziploc bag, the coupler is helpful because it keeps um, the icing from squirting out. On this one, I did not use a coupler. We're gonna see what happens. And then I did another one for those of you who want to use multiple bags and make different colors. You can even just use a Ziploc bag like I did here. I didn't use a coupler, I didn't use anything. I just put it in my Ziploc and I put it in the point and then I'll snip the point and then pipe. So I'll show you all of these techniques in just a few minutes. So if you're gonna use a Ziploc bag or any other kind of bag that's not this thing, I would suggest getting something out to hold it. This is, makes it easier. It makes it easier to scrape your spatula against it and get it down in there. So that's why I have that one kind of set up. But if you're using this one, pick the tip that you want to use. I picked this big fat wide one here, but we have one that makes a star. We have one that makes kind of a flower. We have a plain one that kind of can do writing. And then we have this one that can do writing. So there's our buzzer. Let's go look at our cupcakes again. Take your toothpick with you and let's see if it comes out clean. All right, don't get burned. You should, you should be careful, careful. All right, I've got a couple of tall ones that might need a minute. My short ones don't need, I'm gonna give my one more minute because my bigger ones, because I didn't fill them all even, that's my bad. My bigger ones are not ready. The smaller ones are. I just left them in there. It won't hurt them. Okay. So we're going to wait, let that go one more minute, and then we're going to take them out. Do you, do you have a cooling rack like this one? Get all these cupcakes, y'all. Do you have a cooling rack? If you do, go ahead and get that out. If you don't, put a dish towel down. Because we're going to need to cool or a plate, and we need a pan of some sort, something that can go into your your freezer. So, like this will be okay. But we're only going to do six of them right this minute. So we can put our whole pan, sheet pan, pan, everything. And put it into the, but I like to use this so in case it touches a shelf or anything, this isn't hot. It's not coming straight out of the oven. Okay, let's go ahead and get those out. Okay. There you go, cupcakes. All right, so I'm gonna let some of mine cool normally, and then I'm gonna put that pan of six on here and put it in my freezer. And then we're gonna fill up our pipe bag and we're gonna get started. All right, can y'all see? I'm just gonna put the whole thing, pan and all, on here. How do they do, y'all? Are they done? Are y'all done? Are y'all all done? Your toothpick comes out clean? If so, go ahead and Let's put them in the freezer for a couple minutes, like till we get our icing into the piping bag and then we'll take them out and then we'll pipe them. We want them to be cool. So if you can, I'm going to do this because mine have cooled off enough for me to touch them. I'm going to put mine on the sheet pan and then put that in the freezer. It'll cool them off quicker. Be careful, this is super hot. I don't want anybody to get hot. I mean, get burned, so be super, super careful. I've got a few more here. We'll go ahead and just, just put those in too. The neighbors will love me. Well, they're not exactly neighbors, they're down the road. The folks down the road. Okay, I'm gonna put these in my freezer. Y'all do the same. Um, and then we'll set a timer. Sorry, y'all. I'm not having a fighting apparatus. 
Marty, we can't we can't hear you that far. It's a little muffled. You have to come back for a second. Like, um, I'm not gonna talk about lines. Yeah, my printer. All right, there we go. That'll be easier. Hi, hello. I need, a, I, need a, I need some earbuds for this. Um, yeah, I had to fight for a place in my freezer to put those in there. I should have already organized that. Okay, how's everybody? Are y'all in the freezer? Everybody in the freezer? This isn't ideal. It's ideal to let them cool to room temperature on a cooling rack but we don't have time for that. So let's go ahead and fill up our piping bag. This guy right here. Now I'm gonna show you the best way to do it, guys. Let's go ahead and fold the top down. See what I've done here? Fold the top down. Now we're not gonna to wanna to fill this up too full. You can use a spoon. You can use a spatula. You can use a knife. It's a pretty narrow opening. So whatever, and you wanna fold this over your hand or a glass or something. I'm putting it over my hand and I'm gonna have the, cause my hand is big, I'm gonna have it where the bigger part and then, so see like that, so it fits over my hand so I can manipulate it. So give yourself plenty of space there. Don't roll it down too far. If we now, wanna, you, um, sorry to interrupt. If we want to dye our frosting, should we do that now? If you want to do what? Dye oh, like color. Let's keep a white one. So let's start with white, unless you don't want any white for anything. You can go ahead and spoon out some white into a bowl. You can save it. Um, and yes, we will go ahead and color it. So perfect. Thank you. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you a little technique that you can do to um, color it sort of as you go, since we only have the one piping bag. Like I said, you can use a zip top bag like I did here, if you want, and put some in, like if you're gonna use three or four colors, go ahead and put some icing in a bowl, reserve it or fill up four piping bags and I'll show you a great way to get the color in there. Now, if you have any gel color, which I happen to have some, this stuff is super potent, the gel colors, so let's, only use a teensy amount if you're gonna use the gel colors. If you're gonna use these liquid colors that we sent, then we might need a little bit more. Now y'all know the typical formula, like orange is gonna be red and yellow. So if you wanna make a pumpkin, then you can do that. Then you could add a little blue to it or green or both, and then you can turn it into brown or black. I'm gonna make some orange and then I'm gonna use white. And in a minute I might, make some green, but like I said, save out a bit if you want, like, cause I'm gonna add a little green leaf on my pumpkins I'm gonna make. So let's um, go ahead and fill up your piping bag. So you can do what I'm doing here and you push it down in and then you draw this across and pull it out. So most of it will stay down in the bag. Now it depends on how much you want you can uh, go ahead and color your icing in a bowl if you want, or you can do what I'm about to do and you can color it in the bag. I'm gonna show you both ways to do it. So right now I'm gonna push this down. Now don't color in the bag if you're going to want to use it. You can wash this and use it again. And so I'm gonna add just a little bit more of this. Go ahead and get it in there. But if you're gonna, if you want to color it, let's. Why don't we go ahead and make some in a color? I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna use this for orange. I think I'll make some green, so I can make a little twig for my pumpkin. All right. So now you can see I don't want to use too much, put too much in. It'll come out of the top. But you want to roll that down and get the air out, and then you want to push it down until all of your icing goes down into the tip. So, and just keep pushing it down. Then we're gonna roll it like that. And then we're gonna use it like this. Now, you can see I didn't put a ton. I still have ton here. So I'm going to make an icing in this little bowl using some food coloring, or you can put your food coloring directly into your bag 
and then you just smush it around and it'll eventually come together. You can do it either way. I like to do it that way, but it's not as consistent. Um, this is maybe a little bit better. I just like to do that so I don't mess up a bowl because I already messed up the bag. So then I don't have as many dishes to wash, but y'all do it the way you want to. I'm going to make a little bit of green. So I'm just going to make a bit. I don't want a ton because I'm not going to use it very much. Somebody tell me how much time we have. We have about, uh, I would say 15 or so minutes. Okay, great. You got a good amount of time. Awesome. Somebody will, somebody time me for like three or four, let's say four more um, minutes. And then, yeah, yeah. and then we'll take out our, um, we'll take out, so I'm going to take that out. So I have some, you remember the sprinkles that we sent you? So let's go ahead and start with those. You can either dump it, just kind of sprinkle it on and let's get it kind of good and coated with your sprinkles. You can press them in or you can just let them fall. I'm gonna press mine in a little bit so they stay. Or you can just dump it in there. You can just dunk it right in there. Now I'm gonna add, now for this one, I was gonna take these to somebody, so I left the paper on the candy, but you can take the paper off your candy, which I'm gonna do right now. All right, I'm hurrying guys, because I really want you to see this one, because it's so cute. All right, stick in some M&Ms or Reese's Pieces or whatever you got, and then a candy bar, maybe whatever. You can do one like that. And I've got this great, um, you know, like a little Reese cup. You can use that. And just your favorite Halloween candy. Just, and like I said, this one's going to be called, here's the Kit Kat. Let's put that guy in there. That's fun. Give me a break. Give me a break. And if I said, if you're going to take them somewhere, you can leave the paper on the candy. That's okay. That looks really cute too. All right. Let me give you this one. Hang on. Here's Tootsie Roll. Come on out, Tootsie Roll. Put a tootsie roll, right? And oh, I want to put a couple more of these, put a couple more of these guys, and maybe another candy bar. And here we go. And look, how fun is that? Look, can y'all see it? So just put your candy right on your cupcake. And this is a trick or treat cupcake. Isn't it fun? All right, anybody got any questions about the decorating part? Can I help y'all? All good? Anybody dare me take a bite of this thing? I'm going to do it anyway. I dare you. I you dare me? Okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's see, what's my favorite candy? Kit Kat. Me too. So, Reezy Cup, Reezy Cup. All right, y'all, that's the cupcake class. What did you think? Did you have fun? All the kids are already eating them and shaking their heads, so we're in good shape. Sugar, sugar, sugar. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. <laughs> I don't know any other way to do it. Y'all, I hope you had a good time. Thank you, Hungry, for inviting me. Thank y'all for letting me come to your house. Thank I live you so much. I live here by myself. So I'm always so happy when people like y'all come to visit. It makes me so happy because I'm here all happy along. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you too. Listen, y'all, I hope you'll listen to my podcast. It's called All Recipes Homemade. You can find it on your Apple I, iPhone you can, or your iPad. You can find it on the podcast app. It's a purple app. You can also find it on Spotify or Stitcher, or you can go to allrecipes.com, type in homemade podcast, and you'll find me. And I've interviewed everybody from Duff Goldman, Guy Fieri, Rachel Ray, to um, Miss Patty LaBelle. I couldn't even believe it. And coming up, we've got Jacques Pepin. This week, we have Marco Samuelson, and he's talking about black cooks in America, and that is so important right now. So I hope y'all will listen, give me a thumbs up, tell me how it did, follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, and please let me see pictures of your cupcakes. I want to see how they came out. Tell me, hey, and tell me that I met you today at the cupcake class, okay? It's Marty Duncan, M-A-R-T-I-E-D-U-N-C-A-N, and I'm Marty Knows Parties on Facebook. You can find me there, 
or you can just find me by Marty Duncan. Uh, any way you want to find me, you can find me. But I hope you'll stay in touch and let me know how you did and let me know if you have any questions. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marty. Thank you so much, Team Zanga. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Halloween. Have a great, happy Friday. We love when Halloween falls on a Friday. Don't eat too much candy, kids, uh, and have a great time, parents, and we'll see you soon. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks, everybody.